Hello everybody, my name is Jay Borky. Welcome back to my channel, Vorpal Gaming. And I'm here again with Valley. Uh, after about 20 minutes or so of searching around like a moron, I realized I didn't even see this above me in uh, the little room through the vent there. So I, I poked around a little bit more. I found a, a couple more crates. I found my way into that vent there and got the stuff out of that crate, which was nice. I'm just going to fill up on some energy before we go. Get back into it. Oh. 10 out of 10. Ooh, what's going on down here? Mm hmm. Never a good sign. Whoa. It's a really bizarre feeling with the perspective the way they've done it because you can obviously sprint around in here, so the ventilation system has to be large enough for a, a human with these extended legs underneath them. Yet, it feels like you're crawling through a vent, like instincts tell you from every other video game that vents are only a certain size. Just bizarre. Okay, I guess I'm dropping down here. Huh. Live! Oh, what did I do? Note from Andrew Fisher: Due to the power strain, as the reactor ramps up to uh, ramps, up, ugh, pardon me, ramps up production to meet our increased quota, we've experienced frequent power outages. As such, I've ordered Amrita generators as backup power source as a backup power source to be temporarily installed throughout the facility. Blackouts should cease to occur. Excellent. Nothing going on here? Okay. Oh, hello. Note from a researcher. I finally got to see one of those orbs out in the wild while I was on leave for the day. There was something sur uh, surreal about them. I stared into it for who knows how long. Pendulum. Hello. Note from a worker, we better finish up this project soon, those supply drops are only scheduled to arrive for a few more months. Otherwise, due to the isolation policy, we're on our own. The pilots know nothing of this operation other than their orders to drop off supplies to this location until the end of this year. I think they were told this for a, this is for a mining operation. No wonder Fisher is going mad over our timelines. Medallion... I'm amazed for all the things that this suit can do, it doesn't have a flashlight on it. Ooh, a little bit more energy. Never a bad thing. I guess I'm going up. Whoa! Oh, hello. Note from an administrator. Trying to keep this operation a secret has been an absolute nightmare between coordinating surreptitious supply drops, securing illegitimate funds, channeling resources and manpower to creating thousands of ghost accounts and fake offices to bury the operation from any level of government. Barring someone accidentally stumbling across this location in one of the most remote areas on the planet, there is no chance anyone will find us out here. Nothing over this way. Nope. Oh, hello. Medallion. 
Uh, note from Private Riley. I've been ordered to patrol the Soma facility again today. I've circled through the same rooms 30 times since noon. At least I get to smile at the cute scientist in the pressure chambers each time. She, has, she hasn't smiled back at me yet. I hope she doesn't find me creepy. Why would she? Not at all. Just milling past every few minutes, staring at her. Huh. Oh, hello, crate. Energy recharge. Oh, hello. Let's get rid of that one right quick. Get some more energy. Oh, 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 oh. Is, it, is that it? Okay, good. Uh, oh. oh, hello, crate. Energy upgrade. Always useful. What was that noise? Is it something from in there? Another recharge. Oh. Note from a psychologist. Several guards on Nightwatch have reported large creature sightings. Some of them are a little shaken up by it. It might just be that being struck out... Uh, struck. What am I saying? Stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. For so long is finally getting to them. Either way, we'll need full annual psychological assessments for all personnel in the near future. Charlotte Smith Psychological Operations. Okay. Oh, what's this? Memo, please report any suspicious activity to an officer immediately. Any hesitation could place the entire operation in jeopardy. Hmm. Oh, another one here. Memo, all personnel are expected to work longer hours during the ramp up in production. If you believe you are unable to perform your duties as expected, please report to a supervisor immediately. Oh, did I, did I get this one? No. Note from a researcher. Note from a researcher, rather. A large-scale extinction event occurred in North America near the end of the Pleistocene period. Interestingly, the epicenter of the extinction seems to stem from this valley's location. Could Area 634 have anything to do with it? Okay. Yeah, we're talking about... I mean, we were always talking about apocalyptic stuff with the life seed thing, but... That's just that thing making noise, right? I, oh, God. Reminder notification. Area 634 isolation policy is currently in effect. All vehicles and personnel entering the site can no longer leave until project completion. The rail tunnel and airport will remain closed until that time. All communication is in full lockdown. Thomas Wilson, head of Pendulum Transportation. Okay. Well, I can't seem to go anywhere down here. Have I... Note from a researcher! I keep missing all these notes everywhere. The energy orbs growing here are the key to the valley. Pendulum completely depends on the vast magnitude of energy these orbs contain within them. Regardless of where they came from, they are the key to ending the war. Through Pendulum, we can harness the so-called Amrita energy of the orbs and release it however we see fit. Oppenheimer's atomic bomb will pale in comparison to what we can produce here. Infrastructure report. The reactor and thermal diffuser are very unstable and must be located both far apart and underground to... That was weird. 
Uh, to ensure any accidental explosions are contained, large vents are needed to circulate cool air deep into the mountain. Conveniently, one of the mountains already had ancient tunnels leading deep into the heart of the mountain. This site was chosen for the thermal diffuser and the weapons site. The two sites are connected via underground rail to transport materials. That is creepy how it just keeps passing through me. Oh my god, there are notes everywhere. Note from a worker. Ralph, I saw you take a sip of my coffee this morning and it wasn't the first time either. You know how scarce coffee is getting around here. Please stop sipping my coffee, Frederick. Note from a worker. I'm getting real sick of your attitude, Ralph. I saw you sneak into my office to steal pencils again. I'm running low and really need them for my work. The next supply drop isn't until the spring. Stop stealing my pencils. Please and thank you, Frederick. Note from a researcher. That no good Simmons is sucking up to Fisher again. He's always first to volunteer for assignments, which is no surprise as Fisher can hardly enter a room without him following. He's not even all that smart. Just great at agreeing with everything Fisher has to say. Is that how you get ahead these days? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Okay. I feel like I have to check every single freaking desk now. What in the... Shit is just, like, making sounds at me all over the place. Okay, so that's that one. Yep, cool. Okay, I think that's all the notes now. Now I have to figure out my way out of here. I find it very strange that there's just this door here. Slightly ajar. But I don't seem to be able to get out any other way on this floor, so... That totally is these machines making that noise, isn't it? I'm going to have to go upwards again. It's almost like I can hear shit behind all of these doors. It's very strange. Ah, another... crate. Note from a contractor, now that the isolation policy is in effect, I've found out this is a weapon project of some sort. I still don't know much, but I hope to find, uh, hope to find out more. I just wish I could talk, my, talk to my family back home, let them know I'm doing okay. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Note from a boilermaker, they told us we're building some sort of alternative energy facility here, but little else. Tradesmen are only allowed in certain areas at certain times for certain jobs. They're keeping us completely in the dark. Having us all focus on a single task at, at a time rather than giving us any hints into the big picture. What are they hiding from us? Memo, please refrain from wasting office supplies unnecessarily. Stock is running low. Please exhaust all office supplies to their full content, uh, to their full extent, rather. God, what is wrong with me today? I'm having a lot of trouble reading very, very simple things. Okay, nothing else in here. Unless I, yeah. I'm, I'm always making sure to look up now in case there's a hook above me I can grapple to. No, oh. Okay, yeah, there's some weird shit going on here. What in the fuck? So that's... that's it? I can't... Hello? Hello, anybody? Okay. Oh. I can't believe it. I'm almost at a loss for words. This is the discovery of a lifetime. No, no, of the 20th century. Have I found Schrodinger's cat? This is beyond my wildest imagination. As a result of the reaction between the Amrita energy and the Pathfinder's own life force, they experience what I have dubbed quantum death. When a Pathfinder dies while wearing the suit, their consciousness branches into a new reality, unharmed. They achieve quantum immortality. Okay. And floating cutlery, apparently. Fucking 
hear them buzzing around there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. We're good, buddy. Don't you worry. Give you all the energy you need as long as you don't sting me. Note from a researcher, a leaf suit may prove to be the pinnacle feat of Pendulum. The ability to manipulate life and death using the God Hand. The agility and the ability to circumvent death, all thanks to the Amrita energy converted from this valley's orbs. Uh, we can create the ultimate soldier. The Mark II success will herald a new wave of iterations. Note from Private Matthews, the way Edwin makes a show with Virginia all the time really makes my teeth grind. Everyone knows that the, that romantic involvement between personnel is prohibited, yet no one does anything about it. Why does he get to run around with a girl while the rest of us sit around and play poker for the ninth se- <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm really losing it today. For the nine thousandth time. <coughs> I'm gonna do my warm-up exercises before I started. Maybe I just haven't had enough coffee. I don't know. We'll move on. Whoa. Welcome to the Pathfinder program. You've been selected among an elite few to participate in an experimental study to test out Pendulum's newly designed leaf suit. Do you have what it takes to master the marvels of this groundbreaking technology? Pathfinders are divided into squads of three. Your objectives include testing leaf technology and to aid the anthropological effort as we further explore the ruins of this spectacular valley. As such, Pathfinders are granted incredible speed and agility. In earlier Mark I models, soldiers piloting leaf suits were given the stimulant DX9 to exert the energy needed to drive the impressive exoskeleton. However, this was found to cause sudden cardiac arrest amongst unwitting Pathfinders. <laughs> In the latest model, the Mark II, DX9 has been replaced with Amrita energy. The transfusion of Amrita with you know where we have to go. Okay, Doc's going a little bit crazy. Note from researcher Miller. The other scientists were all talking about atoms. I told them not to, I told them not to trust them. Since they make up everything, they asked me to leave. <laughs> uh, scientist dad jokes. Nothing around here. Cool. Moving on. Hello, crate. Another energy upgrade, one more to go. Oh. As much as I can carry. What the fuck was... I swear there's something... What? We good? Not yet. Okay, now we're good. Let's go over here and ch Ah, another crate. Excellent. A little bit of a recharge booster pack. This is interesting. Okay, guess we are going this way. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> I 
Note from Andrew Fisher. I was, uh, it was soon discovered that if the Pathfinder has a vision of their own death, well, it is in fact them actually dying instead of remaining dead, they branch into a new wave of reality whereupon they continue to live, albeit at the cost of an equivalent amount of life within that branch. To put it plainly, if a Pathfinder wearing a leaf suit dies through some accident, their death is traded with the life of a nearby living thing. They achieve quantum immortality. Note from Andrew Fisher. E effectively, those wearing leaf suits gain the ability to deny the actuality of wave function collapse. In other words, the ability to branch through various objects, reality, uh, objective realities, pardon me, as part of the many world theory of quantum mechanics with the uh, with this ability pathfinders have visions of themselves dying each time this occurs something nearby dies such as an animal or nearby vegetation it's pretty messed up note from andrew fisher when i met einstein at princeton i couldn't help but see a hint of oppenheimer reflected in him I was astonished by his clairvoyance into the makeup of our universe, viewing the experience of all things natural and spiritual in perfect unison with the self-acting as little more than an optical illusion in the perpetual flow of the universe. When Oppenheimer and I studied Indology under Arthur Ryder, I could see that same compassion and empathy for all living creatures brewing within him. Ooh, another one down here. Note from Andrew Fisher. Tracing the live seeds location was a simple matter. After years of tracking the epicenter of the ple uh, fuck. Pleistocene extinction event, I, I, I cannot wrap my head around that word right now, I was led to this valley's location. I couldn't believe my eyes upon immediate examination of one of the orbs. I discovered their vast energy potential. With the help of the Pathfinders, I was able to locate the life seed within the valley. Oppenheimer wouldn't be uh, won't believe his ears upon hearing the marvels I've accomplished. Note from a researcher. I hate that annoying pun guy. I went into storage looking for inert gas to fill the glove box. He walked by with the last canister in hand and told me it was... And told me it was Argon. I hate him. I, I'm really enjoying, I have to say, the uh, the notes left around the place, because you get a really... Where did that noise suddenly come from? You get a really um, diverse range of things going on throughout these notes. Like, some of them are just, like, notes left between co-workers about silly, useless things, and some of them actually tell you quite a bit about the storyline. It's, no, it's nice balance. A uh, note from a researcher, quantum death and immortality using leaf technology is a fascinating field of study. Using this tech, a person could live out a full life without fear of an accident, cutting it short. Albeit the use of immortality is a misnomer, as the user simply shifts to a new timeline wherein they are still alive. This can only hold true until all practical timelines are exhausted. For example, an elderly man dying of natural causes is unlikely to shift into a timeline where they do not die, as that parallel world is very unlikely to exist. Wow, okay. And then the noise stops again. I think there's a, uh, a couple of bugs with the sound in this game. I've had some issues uh, just when even simply trying to change the sound levels, the music levels, and that, and that sort of stuff. Um, but for the next video, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can remedy that. Because the music, the soundtrack's really quite nice. and I, I'm not sure if we're getting the full scope of it right now. Since, obviously, there hasn't been any music, but, you know, it could just be an atmospheric thing. Who knows? Oh, here we go. We found our little place. We need to jump across here. And Ali uh, oop. Nicely done. I will take all of the energies, thank you. And up we go. Yeah, oh. Oh, we're still going up, okay. Aha. Oh no, didn't make it. Oh, much better.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave that video there. I'll see if I can mess around and make the music come back. If it is, in fact, gone, I'm still not entirely sure. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed the uh, videos so far. Uh, check out the other videos on my channel, Vorpal Gaming. Check out the stuff uh, I've done so far with Minji Soup Gaming. There'll be a lot more videos to come with them. And check out their stuff, of course, as well. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you're seeing. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jay Walkie. You're watching my channel, Vorpal Gaming. This is Valley. And I will see you in the next episode.